Hey guys, welcome to PatternLab.London. <clears throat> okay, so today we have a brand new tutorial request from the snob Rob on Instagram. So thank you very much, Rob. Um, so he asks, I really enjoy tutorials. Could you please make a tutorial of how to put different seam allowances into a pattern? I mean, e.g., to put 10 mil uh, on the bodice block and then 15 mil into the armhole. Thank you very much. You make me return to drafting patterns. Yeah, we can absolutely show you how to do that, Rob. Um, and it's a pretty simple process as well. So first of all, we already have a tutorial on how to add seam allowance to our blocks, and this is just simply a UK standard size 10 that we've pulled from the Design Lab website um, from one of those, um, what is it, pattern packs, and this is the bodice block. So to generally to add seam allowance, what we do is we take the small selection tool, we click on the outline of our block, and you can do this to all of them if you want to. Oops, hang on, uh, let me just sort that out, join. Okay, so to add seam allowance, all we do is simply select the outlines of our patterns and go to Object, and then Path, and then Offset Path. And then here, we can change this to 1cm, and it will preview. We can change it to 2 centimeters. You can change it to whatever you like, and it will give you that offset path. So to answer the question, uh, so basically this applies, uh, this offset path, this seam allowance applies to the entire block, but obviously we want to isolate the armhole and have a different seam allowance on the armhole. Really straightforward. So what we do is I'm just going to cancel this first of all. So to create one cm on one centimeter, 1.5 cm on the on the armhole, but one cm on the block, all we're going to do is simply go to our scissor tool. So I've got my small selection tool. I'm just going to click on the outline. You can either click or you can click and drag. And I'm going to get the scissor tool, and I'm just going to simply snip that armhole away from the main block. So we're basically we're isolating it. This means we can apply paths or object paths to these independently. And we could do this anywhere. So let's just simply do that now. So let's get the small section tool. I'm going to click on the armhole. I'm going to go object and then path, offset path. And then here we've actually already got 1.5, which is great. So 1.5 centimeters. You can make it anything you wish. And let's just click OK. And to keep this nice and clean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this first of all. So before I apply seam allowance to the rest of the block, I'm just going to get rid of this inner line here. It's got an inner line because essentially this is not an object. Uh, it's going around the entire thing. So it's applying that object path to both sides of this. But we just want this outside one. So I'm going to get my small selection tool. I'm going to click on that outside line, get my scissor tool. I'm just going to snip and snip. Let's just do that. And then I'm going to get my small section tool, select the inside line, and hit backspace a few times. So that there we have our 1.5 seam allowance on the armhole. Next, we're going to apply 1 cm to the entire pattern. So I'm going to click on this pattern with my small selection tool. I'm going to go object, path, offset path, and then here we're going to go 1 cm. Click OK. And once again, I'm going to get my scissor tool. I'm going to snip here and here. And I'm going to click and then remove that inner um, let's say seam allowance. So now it's starting to look more how we envisaged it. But obviously we need to join these two points. So first of all, because once again this has been isolated or removed, or it's been this armhole has been cut out, I just want to make sure this is joined up with that block again. So I'm going to get my small selection tool, I'm going to click and drag over those two points, right click, join. Click and drag, right click, join. And then here I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my small selection tool, I'm just going to click that point. I'm going to click and drag. Now, I've got to be careful here. I can't go below it or higher than. I have to go through that line. You see how that li we're going through that line? I'm going to extend that out. Same with this one. Click and drag, extend through. This one here is a little bit more difficult. We can't actually extend that line because we're going to be messing up the curve of that armhole. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get our pen tool just here. And I'm going to go click on that point, And I'm going to go extend through. I'm going to try and extend through that line click that point. I'm also just going to join it to the end there. I'm going to do it again, get my pen tool, click on that point, extend through, and then I'm going to click back on that point. Now these little triangles look a little bit weird, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use the pathfinder to remove them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, so I'm going to, small section tool, I'm going to select that outline, I'm going to go to my pathfinder tool, and I'm going to go to this unite option. And what that does is that basically solidifies this block or consolidates it, and it actually removes these two. So I'm just going to hit backspace, select my small selection tool, hit backspace. So I'm going to do that again, but on the back block, a little bit quicker, and hopefully you should get the concept. So once again, small selection tool, I'm going to select my block, I'm going to snip the armhole from the actual bodice block, and then I'm going to go to my armhole, I'm going to go object, path, offset path, 1.5, let's keep it consistent, and then going to snip here and here, and then going to remove that inner line, oh, 
we just want to make sure we're snipping this point as well. It's being a little bit tricky, you can always zoom in and just cut slightly away from it. There we go. Backspace a bit. Let's go to the rest of the block, object, path, offset path 1, preview, OK. Then we're going to get our cut tool, snip, snip, going to get rid of the inner line. And then here we're going to extend out, oops, be careful. I'm going to extend out, make sure that is an extension and we're not moving it left or right. Extend out. I'm going to get my pen tool and I'm going to click on this point, extend through, judge it with your eye, and then join it. Same with this one. Click, extend through, click on that point, unite, small selection tool, delete this one, delete this one, and there you have your 1.5 on the armhole and your 1cm on the main body really really simple and we can also do that to the armhole uh, to, to the sleeve head so obviously the armhole is 1.5 we want to add it to this so let's go to our sleeve block let's get the cut tool snip snip let's go object path oops object hover path offset path 1.5 snip here snip here delete the inner grab this piece object path offset 1 snip snip, remove the inner, extend that line up, extend that line up, get the pen tool, extend out, join, click, extend, join, unite, remove, remove. And if you want to, you can also, uh, with my small selection tool, click on that point, hold down the shift key, click on that point, extend out to that seam allowance. You might have to nudge it with your arrow keys. Same with this one, click and extend, and here as well, just going to click and extend, and click and extend those as well. So that is 1.5 seam allowance on the armhole and 1 cm on the main body, looking good. Okay, so I hope that um, resolves uh, that question. If you have any um, comments on this, just simply let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Let's just do that one.